There's the bell for the main event, a championship bout for the middleweight title. Ray Robinson against Randy Turbin. Robinson had lost his title to Turpin two months before. This was a return bout. Can Ray get it back from this Englishman? Polo Grounds, September 12, 1951. Let me tell you about it as I saw it. Here's Robinson getting into the ring. He's trained harder for this one than he has in a couple of years. The Polo Grounds is packed. 61,000 people. Turpin says hello to Ray. Randy, he's not in that good a mood right now. Every newspaper, sports and show business name in the country is here. Joe Lewis. Gene Tunney. Joe DiMaggio and Marlena Dietrich. Eddie Cantor. Eddie Egan, General MacArthur, Lowell Thomas. The last time Robinson saw Turpin, Ray thought this was just another fighter. He trained like it, too. Then Turpin almost chased him out of the ring and won the title. Robinson has been fuming ever since. If he ever wanted to fight a guy, it's Turpin. Johnny Addy introduces the fighters to the big mob. Robinson boxed Turpin while he was touring Europe back in June. Ray took exactly 21 people with him, including a personal barber, a comedian, to keep him happy. So he took a couple of fights to pay the bills. One of them was Turpin. Ray fought him in London, but he had Paris in his legs, and it showed fast. Turpin bulled him, and he went home that night with the biggest prize of his life. Robinson wound up in his hotel room with Dr. Nadiello fixing the scar tissue of his eyes. Turban busted up Ray something awful. So now Robinson has to show he has come back from all those nights in dance halls. He's been up in camp, forgetting to shave, living a little cruder than he normally does. Tonight we're going to see if it straightened him out. Robinson's best bet is to box this guy and look for spots. Ray is a lot of things in the ring, but he certainly isn't strong. A guy like Turpin can push him around. You've got to box this guy, Ray. See how Robinson came inside that hook? That's the way the good fighters do it. Anybody who tries to step away from a left hook usually has a face that looks like it got caught in a car accident. He got inside that hook again, and look what he did to Turpin's body. Robinson's inside that hook again. Do I love to see this? Anytime a guy fights right, it gives me a lift. And let me tell you, those body punches aren't gonna help Randy later on. I say Robinson is wrong here. Look at him, he's leaving Turpin alone. Ray, the guy could be hurt bad. Don't look at him. Fighters learn to keep a straight face so they won't give it away when they're hurt. the way to go after a guy. Turpin got away from all the trouble with that crouch, and Robinson made a mistake. He never went to the uppercut once. He's got the punch all right, and it would have ruined a croucher like Turpin.
There's that Robinson jab. Every time I see it, I wind up trying to copy it. Bang, he snaps it straight out. No reaching, no pulling himself off balance. It's a one-piece motion behind that punch. It could be the best jab anybody in boxing ever had. There, that's the way to fight a guy who crouches. Turpin, if you're gonna take a few more uppercuts like that, you're gonna need some help on the way home tonight. There's that uppercut again. Turpin doesn't have an American in his corner, and that might hurt him here tonight for a lot of reasons. Terrific hook. Look at Robinson back off. He could be hurt, Mandy. Go after him. Look at Robinson. He isn't moving so much now. Maybe he set too fast a pace in those early rounds, and he wants to slow it up. Or maybe he's starting to get tired. This Englishman is going to be tougher later on. Take care of yourself, Ray. Tony, what do you think of this fight so far? I must say, you know, the, the wonderful thing about Robinson is that win, lose, or draw, he's always wonderful to watch. He's uh, like a cat in motion. He's simply, he's a, he's a true star. You, you, you always feel a sense of danger about this man. He is great, Tony, and he proves himself later on in this fight. Robinson's coming from the right, Turpin the left. This is the first time Turpin has ever been away from home. He's a funny kid. He screamed when he missed seeing the Statue of Liberty. The photographers had him posing for pictures when the ship went by him. Robinson's been keeping good distance on Turpin, but his feet are flat on the floor now. He can't move that way, and Turpin looks real strong. Those misses aren't doing Robinson much good. They look like they're tiring him out. Turpin keeps backing away. That's no way to win a fight with this guy, Randy. Get low. Move in on the guy. He might be getting tired on you. Turpin stops with that right. I don't know why they don't have him straighten the punch out. Robinson is four years older and might be showing here. Randy, don't lead with a right hand against anybody. See what trouble it got you in there? I don't know what they're telling Turpin in the corner, but he's letting Robinson coast here. Go after him, Randy. Make him work. See? Robinson's just left handing him in there. He's taking a good breather, just looking for one big shot. There, 
rough him up inside, Randy. You're stronger. Keep on him. Turpin, don't ever turn your back on anybody. Next time, he might flatten you. Robinson's gasping for air. Look at him. Robinson could be losing this fight right here. He hasn't done a thing for rounds. Look out, Ray. They don't give hometown decisions in New York. Turpin is awkward. His first punch is a hard one, but he never throws combinations. He hasn't put two punches together all night. Robinson would be in real bad trouble if this kid ever really learned how to fight. Robinson's been keeping that step and a half distance on Turpin. Close it up, Randy. Fight this guy inside. still have a long way to go. Can Robinson last? I don't know. Turpin doesn't want to gamble with him. He knows Robinson still can belt. Robinson has a terrific cut over the left eye. It's brutal. Referee Goldstein looks at the eye. Get going, Ray. He may stop it. Look at Robinson, he's fighting for his life. Don't let him go, Randy, he's a wild man. up the count from the timer. Turpin is looking right at Robinson. He isn't taking his eyes off Ray. When he gets up, he'll be facing Robinson. Look at Robinson. No excitement. No jumping around. He's just standing there and thinking. He's thinking of exactly how he's going to walk in and kill Turpin. Mad? Never. This is his business. Hurting the other guy, and he wants to do a real professional job of it right now.
Robinson hasn't missed a punch yet. This is a real ring killer. He's not throwing crazy shots. He's landing every one of them. Look at him. He's even waiting for an opening. What's keeping Turpin up? He's getting hit more than he has in his whole career. Goldstein is off to one side. This is the worst decision of his life. Turpin must be strong. He'd be out if he wasn't. Should you stop the fight or what? Look at those right hands to the side. What shots. coming in. Everybody's Robinson's friend now. He couldn't lose it, they're telling him. But he knows different. He has a ditch carved over his left eye that's going to take a ton of stitches to close. And I'm not sure they would have let him come out for another round with a cut like that. Tony Robinson got beat by Turpin in Europe, and a lot of people believe he did because he was out of shape. They couldn't believe that Turpin was such a great fighter that he could beat a Ray Robinson. So this fight here was the proof, to be proof. Robinson looked good in this fight. He tore into Turpin, and just for about one minute or 30 seconds, he tore Turpin apart, and they had to stop the fight. It was a great fight for Sugar Ray Robinson, and he won back his crown. Well, I think this was undoubtedly one of Sugar's greatest fights. I think it? it was his last great fight. Mm. Tony, your history in the theater world is certainly the story of a man who punched his way up to the top. This little memento, a pair of golden gloves, is my way of reminding you and your many friends to always keep punching. Thank you, Rocky. When I was a kid, I dreamt of someday maybe winning the golden gloves, but at this late date, I'm, I'll settle for these silver ones. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Tony. The bigger they are, the nicer they are. And you can make it as easy as they did. Just remember, keep your left hand high, chin down, and keep punching. 